Justin Davis kickoff will be a touchback and Arkansas has the football at the 25 yard line to begin. Story on first down is going to pull it. Pass it and it is already a gain of nine plus against the Colorado State defense that has struggled. Austin Cantrell makes the grab. Boys better get it done up front. Average just two yards per rush against Eastern Illinois and not much better on this one as Warren is dropped. Better tonight the Rams do and Arkansas is going to make that a challenge for him. On second and 22, Story winds up and it picked off. A takeaway by the Ram defense on the opening possession. Jordan Fogel, the sixth year player for Colorado State. This was just miscommunication for Arkansas. The ball was thrown a little bit behind. The receiver tried to break on it, but it ended up being a perfect pass, unfortunately, to Jordan Fogel. <laughs> This is the exact sort of start this Colorado State team has needed, Carter. We talked about it. They've had these slow starts. Third down. Exotic blitzes, the specialty of John Chavis. Pass complete again. Preston Williams well short of the first down as Ryan Pulley, the junior corner. Armand Watts put the pressure. He kicked in this stadium in week zero. After the takeaway from the defense, a 55-yard field goal attempt is easily good. And Colorado State is on the board from 55. Yards out. Ty's story back out for series number two. We expect to see Cole Kelly play as well. Handing off on first down. Devois Whaley. Good push through the left side across the 35-yard line. I suggest that they come after him. Don't let him sit back there. So in first and second down, though. Story <laughs> that is incomplete on third down. So guess who's there again? Jordan Fogel, who had the pick on the opening series. And a forced fumble in the first quarter. Rams pick up the first down. Izzy Matthews brought down by the safety Santos Ramirez. Too fast early on against Hawaii. And off Matthews lost the football. Gets back on top of it back at the 20 yard line. Aguim knocks it free. And Izzy Matthews has to scramble to get back on top at the 21 yard line. Of crossing the face of the right tackle, Ben Knox gets inside, excuse me, over the right guard. That's the penetration that this defensive line and John Chavis is famous for. Is to have some depth there. Third and long. Carter Samuels, screen. That's Kenzie and he is dropped. Dropped, maybe even a loss of a yard. Nine yards per play coming in. Arkansas nowhere close in the first two possessions. Trying to get it going to the ground game. Wheelie straight up the gut. That is a gain of 10. Third and one. Little miscommunication, but Whaley takes it anyway and easily picks up the first down. Max McDonald, the will linebacker, brings him down. Defense breaks down when that happens. Whaley's back there for second down, shaking his way. Moving the chains again. Looks like Whaley got enough. Ben, can they get themselves off the field here? Yeah, Story's going to hand off, and now they do pick up the first down. I thought that the Razorbacks had first down there. Story's going to give it on third and six. T.J. Hammonds is pushed back. Honor Limpert from 49 yards, and it is Ooh. no good. Way right. Pushed it way off, so Colorado State gets a 55-yarder that was good. There is a flag down after the missed 49-yarder. First and 10 now from the 26. Story hands off. That's Whaley on the left side. Whaley falling for a first down inside the 15. Gain of 12. Really good a year ago. Second down. And it again. Whaley again. Pushing down to the two. First and goal. Arkansas on a drive where the Rams had them stopped. Colorado State should expect run here. They haven't been able to stop it yet. Whaley. Wow. Walks into the end zone. 
and I mean walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. It was supposed to be a zero for Arkansas, and the Razorbacks take the lead. Great job of covering everybody up, but then they stop and shut down the play. Catches for Williams in this game, and Pep in his step again. Hand off, McElroy, and he is dropped for a loss. Armand Watts and T.J. Smith. Watch the center right there in the middle of your screen. Just a nice job of the nose tackle. K.J. Carter Samuels, third drive. The graduate transfer from Washington, deep complete to guess who? Preston Williams with his fourth grab of the first quarter. One-on-one -on -one opportunities you can maybe take advantage of here. Play action. Got him. There he is, downfield intended for Williams again. It is intercepted. Ryan Pulley picks it off. Ryan Pulley holds it in, so they try to go to Williams one more time. And you see why. It was a great release. He had him, but he has to throttle down and come back on the ball. It was almost like he was trying to throw a back shoulder. But we may need to take a look at this to make sure that Pulley caught it. That's a catch and an interception. And another costly mistake by a team that can ill afford them. And Ryan Pulley, who missed all of last year with a right torn peck. He's got to step it and then snap it. And remember the snap count. Not that easy. Shovel, that's Boyd on the right side. Wow. Boyd wrestled out of bounds after another first down. Story on third and 14. Zips it, incomplete off the hands of Hammonds, and it was a huge pop. Hubbard gets the pressure on Story. Getting the incompletion. Third and 10, Hill misses. I mean, Preston Williams over the middle. Not sure if Williams would have had a chance to catch and run, but that was a miss. Five in the box with an overhang player. So Story on third and four. Chased. Story pressured. He's going to tuck it, scramble, pick up the first down, slide away from the defense, and dive forward. He got at least seven extra yards. Braylon Scott, number 18, comes up. You're going to see a missed tackle coming from the left side of the screen. There's 18 right there. He has him dead to rights. And isn't very deep to begin with. So six yards per carry, and now Story hit as he throws downfield. Jones, it's incomplete. Here come two flags, Ajayi and Darius Campbell in coverage on Jordan Jones. Story hands off again. Hayden bounces it outside, finds the seam. Hayden has the edge inside the 20. With a stiff arm, he takes it down to the 16-yard line. From Memphis, a gain of 18. Arkansas is crushing Colorado State up front. Nobody's coming off their blocks. The receivers are getting down. Well, Limpert missed from 49 earlier, but because the penalty didn't count. And now he boots this one through to make it 10-3 Arkansas. Here, Hammonds in the backfield for the Razorbacks. Toss it. Hammonds has it. Tripped off and dropped to the 10-yard line. It's Josh Watson. 15, they're forced to throw it deep here. Bumper pool on the outside. Carter Samuels tipped and incomplete. Wrapping up, just mm -hmm. push him. That's lack of effort, and that's a defense that looks defeated to me. Here you go. And Boyd will take it inside the 50. Boyd finally brought down inside the 35-yard line for Colorado. It's a good scheme. It gashes him. Thomas gets himself out of the hole. I mean, that was a five-yard wide hole, Carter. I might have been able to pick up 10 or 12 on that one. <laughs> this offensive line is doing a nice job at the point of attack, and this is really what we saw a week ago from Colorado. Just running power football up inside, and the Rams have no answer. LC's. Really enjoyed our conversation with him. There's a discrepancy in the ground game. And now in the pass game, this is Jones, block on the edge. And he will take it to the 11, correction. That is Jeremy Patton who makes the grab. An afternoon that hadn't been so pretty so far. Story pulls it, and he is dropped for a sack. Emmanuel Jones on second down, drops Story back near the 15-yard line. First down lines of the world. Here one. he is at the bottom of the screen on the right. He reads it and reacts back out. Play clock winding down, third and 12. Story stepping up, hit from behind to the end zone. It is incomplete. 
And the Rams will force another field goal attempt. An extremely tough catch to make. Lambert hit from 28 and now 31. Arkansas three more. Hill got one possession. Seven straight incompletions comes to an end. With that completion, Kenzie out of the backfield. Down the sideline, Kenzie delivers a blow as he goes out of bounds near the 45. Gain of 20. This is what they've been going to on first down. Keep an eye on his feet. Great job tiptoeing on the sideline. It was a little ginger getting up. He's got a handoff. And it's Kenzie just enough to pick up the first down. Jim McElwain goes from Colorado State to Florida. By the time the game comes around, he's not in Gainesville anymore. Curtis Samuels throw complete. That's the big red shirt freshman tight end, Griffin Hammer, for a first down. Curtis Samuels zips it. Oh. It is almost picked again. Well, than this, this would be a huge way to finish this drive for the Rams. From 46 after Bryant hit from 55, and this one is good. Third and very short. Story hands off. Razorbacks pick it up. Hayden pushes the pile to the 40-yard line. Empty backfield for third and three. With a minute left, Story hit as he throws it, picked off, intercepted. Back to the 45-yard line, Emmanuel Jones. And it's the Rams who get the football with 57 seconds before the half. Inside this young offensive line, there's only five of them. They don't come off. Story has to throw the football a little too early, a little too soon. Emmanuel Jones at the right place at the right time, and Story gets blasted. Down and a PAT to be tied at the half with Arkansas. Pump, toss, caught! And it's Butler who makes the grab. First down, Colorado State. In with good quicks. Does a nice job of just running a simple corner route. Puts his foot in the ground, creates some separation. Arkansas did and turned the ball over on third down. And yet, Carter Samuels pumps. It's tipped and it's incomplete. Batted at the line. So you get nothing after you pick up that big first down from Butler. 44-yard attempt for Bryant. Looking for his third of the half from 40-plus, and it is good. Wyatt Bryant in week zero, 0 for 2, a factor in why Colorado State lost to Hawaii. That discrepancy in total yards, but because the Razorbacks have gone 1 for 3 touchdowns in the red zone, chance for the Rams. This is Fulton, takes it out to the 39-yard line. Call it even 20, and then Matthews loses a couple. Man, come on now. Wise and Kinsey in the backfield. Wise motions out, going to toss it to him. Wise behind the line, slips ahead and drops. So go a little trick play with Wise motioning out. It loses yards. Either of these guys is the long-term answer for this sort of offense. I think some Razorback fans are with you. Whaley! Huge hole in the middle of the field, and Whaley takes it to the 35-yard line in the load. This is just six on six. Bad angle by the safety coming up. You get line. Going to be run up the get by Kelly himself, and he pushes forward for a first down, flag down, as Kelly gets to the 45 with Whaley blocking for Cole Kelly. Right now, one of those... Positions the Razorbacks are still feeling out. Uh -oh. Whaley right up the gut inside the 30-yard line. First down again. Whaley. Consider his legs as a result here, but I think this down the distance is a pass. And here it is. Kelly, deep shot. In zone. It is caught. Touchdown. Arkansas. Petway holds it in. And Cole Kelly leads a touchdown drive for Arkansas is a touchdown drive. He turns around, he catches the ball, that left foot immediately goes down. They're trying to see, certainly his right heel hits, but to me he demonstrated control of that football. That's gonna be a touchdown. Whaley 125, Rams 125. Carter Samuels over the middle, this will help. It's Butler the tight end again across the 50 yard line to the 45. Gain of 30. Offensive play of the game for the Rams. Off of a short throw, catch and run. Carter Samuels in the air again, complete again. First down to Williams. Let's check in with Brent in New York. And Kentucky is giving Florida a game. 
Curtis Samuels pops, loses the football. It's loose on the ground, and it looks like the Razorbacks have it. Curtis Samuels lost it, and Aguim hops on top of it. The Razorbacks take it away. Jeff Taylor on an outside rush swats his hands. As an offensive lineman, you got to get a punch. Curtis Samuels is forced to pull the ball down. The pocket just collapses. The ball comes out. McTelvin Aguim is there to happily jump on it. Kelly back at quarterback, Whaley back in the backfield. That's a shovel toss, and that's Hammonds. Uh -oh. Has the edge, has the 50. Hammonds down the sideline, inside the 20. He'll take it. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Hammonds breaks it, a 64-yard TD. Cole Kelly is two for two, passing with two touchdowns. A spark on the road in Fort Collins. That is the longest, shortest pass of Cole Kelly's life, I'm sure. But again, bad angles, missed tackles, good perimeter blocking by Arkansas. And the sudden change, that is the best way that you could do a nice job of moving the football down the field. And for an offense that was quiet through the air in the first half, Carter, what can you say? Woo, pig suey. Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies. Carter Samuel, second and 10 over the middle. That is caught. Uh, we'll see. Ola B.C. Johnson, and they are saying it's a catch. Razorbacks don't think so. K.J. Carter Samuels over the middle, almost picked. Intended for Preston Williams from a two by two to a three by one receiver formation Snap it with two on the clock Kelly pumps tosses bobbled and incomplete off the hands of Chase Harrell the graduate transfer from Kansas officially gonna call this 48 for Limpert Connor Limpert's 48 yarder no good Carter Samuel's going to keep it on third down, get enough to move the chains. You're still in negative yardage. I want to judge too much, game and a half, but minus four at this point for the Rams. Carter Samuel's back to the air. Deep shot, caught. Butler inside the 25. He goes rolling inside the 15. Butler hangs on to the football and takes it inside the five. Great move by Butler on the one-on-one. -on -one. This was a matchup that they wanted for a tight end. My man, tight end pop passes. Carter Samuels, there he is on the run. Razorbacks were ready and dropped Carter Samuels for a loss. Pulled together. Harris has earned the right to give them a tumble. Bad angle that time by Carter Samuels. On third and goal, Carter Samuels over the middle, touchdown! It's Preston Williams into the end zone. The first touchdown of the night for the Rams. Right here, there's miscommunication, pointing, pointing, take him, take him. Nobody takes him. Butler just comes around and is uncovered. You can't get any more wide open. So there's your mistake, Carter, that you said they had to make. But again, it's beautiful execution. Nobody picks up Preston Williams, their red zone threat. Carter Samuels reads it beautifully. Bobble. Got him. Matthews, and it's a touch. Two-point conversion <laughs> after the touchdown. It's Butler who holds it in. Colorado State has to get another juice play. Get a turnover. Punch the ball out. Kelly hands off Whaley. And that was all. He nearly broke it. I mean, Whaley had room enough to get the 41-yard line. That leaves you susceptible over the top. Whaley has a new career high. Here's another shovel. Warren on the edge. Rams are ready for it this time. And a tackle for loss on the edge. 35 seconds before the fourth quarter in a 10-point game. On third down to the out to the sticks. Coming back to catch the football. That's a terrible spot. Yeah, and Petway makes the grab, but he is going to be short. It's fourth down. <laughs> 300 yards, I'd be offended if I was an offensive lineman for Arkansas. Bauer will punt it away. Hits it at the 40. All of BC Johnson's going to let it hit the 15. There's a flag down. Now he scoops it up. Johnson driven all the way back to the 5. And we checked the flag. Let it bounce and then picked it up. On the rollout, Curtis Samuels pressured. Toss is complete. Ola B.C. Johnson has the first down across the 20. Game there on first down. You're back to zero. That's good news. 
in the rush yards. Carter Samuels over the middle in the air. Complete oh, Johnson targeting. again. Took a huge He's hit. Gone. Curl. And here it is. He's gone. That's Cameron Curl. He's had a heck of a game tonight. Time to throw on second down. Carter Samuels still hit as he throws. There's a flag down. Big pressure from Jamario Bell. He's not doing that tonight, and they're moving a ball as a result. Carter Samuels, downfield, caught. What a grab. Preston Williams holds it in in heavy traffic. Rolling again. Single high safety, one on one. Virtually no defense of that. Look at the hand strength. Very interested in seeing. First and goal. KJ Carter Samuels. Long drop. End zone. It is bobbled. And it is caught. Touchdown. Preston Williams has another remarkable grab. Touchdown. Rams. And from down 27 9 in the third. That's back to back plays by Preston Williams. Look at that. The concentration. Not giving up on the play. I'm going to toss it here. Quick hitter. Nance spins out and he is dropped for a loss. Campbell comes up to get the tackle for loss. Bringing up third and long for the Razorbacks. Finishing on this play because initially Banks misses the tackle right there. But Campbell stays alive. Kelly on the roll. Kelly is going to toss it. Dangerous. Incomplete to the sideline. Petway was open for a moment. The Rams close. Trey Thomas gets the pressure on Kelly. So Carter Samuels over the middle. Open again. Williams again to the 45-yard line. Preston Williams finds a seam in the middle of the razor back. It is against man coverage. Snap it in a hurry. Hand off. Matthews. First down across the 50. Matthews down to the Arkansas 41-yard line with Wyatt Bryan. So on third and three, Curtis Samuels complete. First down. Butler holds it in inside the 30-yard line. Matthews motions out. Empty backfield. Carter Samuels designed. QB run. Wide open. Lost the football. Rams hop on top of it. Carter Samuels on the QB run. Fumbled it. Colby Meeks gets on top of the football. And now Carter Samuels looks like he is hurt. Again, you're in field goal range. So Hill pumps, tosses, goal line incomplete. Flag down. Williams gets tangled up with Ryan Pulley, and the flag is thrown. Carter Samuels backpedaling, tossing to the end zone. It's incomplete. 22-yarder to tie it. Is good. 18 unanswered by the Colorado State Rams. Ground. Arkansas run the dang ball. Whaley does it. And falls forward for a gain of 10 on first down. Go naked. Kelly oh rolling on third and four. Oh Kelly's going to take the sack at the 25-yard line. Emmanuel Jones off the training table, back onto the field for a sack, forcing fourth down. Terrible choice of play call. You motion your back out of the backfield so he can't help in protection. Play clock was set right. Nonetheless, it's a five-yard penalty. And so now Colorado State's going to get the football back in a tie game. Johnson makes the grab. Johnson tripped up. And Ola B.C. Johnson doesn't fair catch. Carter Samuels hit as he throws on second down. It is downfield caught. Sliding to make the grab. Preston Williams inside the 30s have nothing but time. That was great pass rush by Arkansas. They get to him right as he throws. There's no velocity. Samuel should milk this to about five or six seconds. Well, they snap it with seven, hand it off. Nothing much doing there on the ground. But again, this is a chance just to run clock. So Arkansas has got to take a timeout here, and they do. Carter Samuels, play action, complete. Williams over the middle, he has it for a first down at the 15. And the Rams can burn more clock. Second and a half, 30 second timeout. 
Beautiful release that time. And how about the aggressive play calling? Ronnie Letson trying to bleed the clock. Anything can happen. So here's the handoff. It's Matthews on the right side inside the 10. Go down. Matthews goes down. Don't even need to take it into the end zone now. You have a chip shot field goal for a kicker who is four for four. And Colorado State is in position. 15 seconds, 14 seconds. Curtis Samuels is going to hand off into the end zone. Stood up, touchdown! There's eight seconds on the clock. But for now, Izzy Matthews into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado State. Trailing 27 to 9. Uh, Hunter Henry heave. But what you're doing is a squib kick to disrupt the ability for Arkansas to return the football. Davis, there's your squib kick. Razorbacks fall on it. Six seconds showing on the clock. Razorbacks needing a miracle. Kelly's going to throw. It's complete. Stewart on the edge. There's a toss back. Petway. Petway looking for help. It is picked up, scooped up. Kelly, that cannon shot doesn't matter. Kelly's going to go down. It's still loose. And now it's official. The Colorado State Rams charge back with 25 straight to upset the Arkansas Razorback. It's a final in Fort Collins. Rams 34, Razorbacks 27.